How's it going everybody, Ben from Bunch of Pokemon here, and in this video, we're going to be opening a Paldea Evolve Booster Box. It's finally here, the second expansion of the Scarlet and Violet era, so let's get straight into it. First of all though, I do have to apologize. I am I'm still recovering from my Wisdom, wisdom Teeth removal, so I do apologize if I do sound a bit off, or if some words aren't pronounced the way they used to. Still a bit tough to talk, not to mention the pain, but you know, it is what it is. Life is pain. Here we go. 36 booster packs to go through. Jesus. Let me just put this, I guess, like, kind of over here, maybe? And we'll start off with the first booster pack. Here we go. This is gonna be amazing. There are a lot of cards in here that I would absolutely love to pull. Like, thinking at the top of my head, um, of course, the Iono, you know, the card that everybody wants to pull. I'd be happy about that. The Dendra. What else is in here? I've kind of forgotten about the, um, oh yeah, right, the, the Xian, Xianpao and Wuxian and all that good jazz. Oh, here we go. Our first art rare, our illustration rare, and Nackley. Nice. Okay. This must have been in Claybers because I don't remember this from from, um, whatchamacallit, Snow Hazard, or, well, I might have just not pulled it. Alright, there we go, we're in focus again, that was kind of weird. The camera refused to focus on the background there, let's see if that happens again. It better not, because that would be upsetting. Okay, first illustration rare. Let's see, friggy bags. Oh yeah, right, there's also, I mean, there is a lot of cool, cool trainer cards in here, there's also Grosha. Both of those cards are really cool, man. There's a lot of cards in here that are potentially really, really nice. Nothing in this one. Bex Caliber. And here is the Code card. There's also the Tyranitar. The Magic Carp Illustration Rare. Like, so many great cards in here. Oh, right. Triple Beat is also in here, eh? What's from Triple Beat? All right. Skeledurge or Skeledridge. However you want to pronounce it. A Meow Scarter EX. And of course, Quackaquavel. I think the Meowth Garada would be my favorite from those. But you know, we'll see what we can pull here. The first booster box, or Scarlet and Violet booster box, I had really good luck with that. I pulled the, the Koraidon, Boss's Orders, right? That's another one. I mean, this expansion just seems to be perfect for, for like, full art trainer collectors like me. In particular, because there are so many good full art trainers in here. Bosses orders featuring Getsies. I've recently finished my Pokemon White um, randomizer Nuzlocke. So that's kind of cool. Magnemite. What other... I have to remember. What other illustration rares are in here? Besides the Tyranitar. Really can't think of them uh, at the top of my head. Hmm. We'll just be surprised, I suppose, if we do pull a few more. Nothing in this one, though. Just an Obama Snow. Okay. Keep these booster packs coming. Man, this is amazing. Finally, a new expansion. We're getting to opening this. And I got this on release date. And I'm hoping to publish it on release date. And they actually published, I think, like, it was during the night or, like, yesterday. The, um, the special illustration or special art rares for the three starters from the... Pokemon 151 expansion, you know, the Japanese one. They look really, really cool. Pretty sure if I remember correctly, um, the, the, um, whatchamacallit, the Blastoise evolution line, the Squirtle evolution line, that one was illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. I mean, they all look super amazing. I'm just hoping, I mean, they published also a Zapdos EX, SAR. That one looked insane. And I have a Pikachu, I like the illustration. And what else? I'm really hoping for a for a Mew special illustrate or special art rare. Man, that would make my day. That would make my day. Yo, speaking of Meow Scarada, here we go. We've got a full art. Nice. Okay. And here is the code card. We've got a Meow Scarada full art. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's just let these. Sit right there and see what else we can get here. Meowskarada. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe we'll also get the, the special special illustration rare from the Meowskarada. I'd be happy with that. That would be kind of cool. Tarantula, Mr. Drevis. 
I've got a magic carp and it's assigned to pull the magic carp as well. I've pulled that in my triple beat opening. So it would be kind of nice. Yo, no, it's the Skeletridge or Skeletridge, however you want to pronounce it. Yo, that's our special illustration rare. Nice, okay. And a Meowskerada EX afterwards, you know, talk about a double pull. Man, okay. Let me just put the this one like right next to it on top of Cynthia's face. And yo, okay. Let me just look at this man. You know, I might be wrong, but I feel like the texture got much finer with Scarlet and Violet. I mean, check this out. I don't know if you can make it out in the video, but I feel like the texture is so much finer than compared to what it used to. If you like, look at an alternate art from, from Sword and Shield. They had much, much rougher texture, if you will. It's not on the level of the Japanese cards, mind you, but it's still, I think, a big step in the right direction. Alright, that's our secret art, our secret, secret illustration rare. We'll see if we can pull anything else. Maybe we'll still get a... get a trainer at least. But hey, we've gotten... we've gotten some very, very nice pulls. Let me put this over here. Rogunk. Got a Tinkatuff. Bravery Charm. Ritatropius. Love that illustration. Slacking. And an Oricorio. Nose goes for that pack, but I guess after just pulling that card, you know, you have to take it slow a bit. We still got so many packs to go through, and I'm always surprised when I open these English booster boxes, which isn't open. I mean, it's just really on a release. I'm always surprised just by how much cards you get from these. I mean, there's like 10 cards in here, and you get like 36 booster packs. It's a lot. It's actually a lot compared to Japanese ones. Prime Ape and a Jump Bluff. Here you go. There you go. And crack open the next one. Let's see. What other stuff is there to talk about? I did a video recently on like the whole tech team situation, like cards like trainer hollows that are being pushed or specifically Lily cards, which is kind of, you know, odd. If you want, you can check that out. And then other videos I have planned are, well, another Mail Day video. Another Mail Day video, which I have yesterday, just yesterday, received finally the lost card for it. I actually thought it got lost in transit, but thankfully, thankfully, it did arrive here in, in one piece. Um, the worst part about doing these mail days, and you'll hear me out, the worst part of doing mail day videos is you or I have to wait to to rip the, the cards open to, like, look at them until they're all here, like, until I'm done recording. That's, like, the worst part. Whenever they show up, I just want to rip, I just want to rip it open just to see the cards. And there's, there's a really special card in there. I mean, there's all, they're all special cards. There's, like, one card in particular that I have, well, first of all, I have not seen beforehand and actually came all the way from Japan. So that's like the card that I want to open most just to look at it. But we'll see. I'll, I'll probably start recording um, that opening next week and then release it probably on Saturday, you know, as per usual. As per usual. Nothing in this one, man. We've gone without a pull for quite some time now, you know, I mean, after after pulling this one, we do have to take it a bit slow, I suppose. We do have to take it a bit slow. But maybe we can get a cheeky trainer here, maybe? Maybe a little Grusha? Or maybe a little Spaghettis? That would lighten the mood, I suppose. Tinkatuff, Pomo. Oh, there's a double pull. There's the Dendra, right? That's another one that's in here. Nope, just a Wigglytuff. That's another card in here. I think I named that. That's like both of the Dendra cards. Let's see. Also the new expansion. I mean, we've just barely gotten this expansion, but we've already had news about the next expansion, which is Obsidian Flame, which I do believe gets released in August. 
can't remember the exact date. But that's not too far off. That's not too far off. We'll see. I mean, the leak about, like, the, um, the dark-type Charizard. Pretty sure it was a golden card. Oh, here we go, the Tinka Tink. I've forgotten about this. This is also a really cool evolution line in these, like, art rares or illustration rares. That's a really cool one. I hope I get the full one. Well, probably not in this booster box. I'm probably just gonna buy the the cards that I'm missing, but that's a really cool one. I really like that uh, the the evolution line and, of course, the illustrations. Very nice. Hey, we've broken. We've broken the curse. We finally pulled something again. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's see. Done spars. We've got a clavel. Noibat, Sprigatito, freaking Wheat Cat over here. Calamitous Wasteland. Got a Primeape. Got a Vault Orb. Got a Spiritomb and a Holo Gyarados. And a Holo Gyarados. Let's see, we have three booster packs left on on the right side, and then we're already moving it to the to the left side. Man, this is kind of fun. I've I've forgotten how much fun it can be opening like a huge English booster box. Trudel. A Ted Blub. Failings. Oh yeah, right, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I did a poll on the channel about what game to stream next. And it looks like, I mean, at the time... Bellybot, nice. And at the time of recording, I'm pretty sure that will hold true. Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus actually won. So I, I'm excited to stream that. Probably not this week, though, because I'm still recovering. So I think I want to stream maybe next Saturday, but I'll have to see. I mean, that's the plan for now. Stream next Saturday. But we'll see. I should be... I should be able to... To, like, talk normally by then. Here we go. Reversal energy. Nope. Sableye. Nothing for this one. What else am I hoping for here? Man, I haven't really looked at the... At the set list for... For Pelda Evolved. Last pack from the right side. But then again, I rarely do. Because I kind of want to surprise... Be surprised buy some of the cards in here, but then, like, you know, the heavy hitters. You're gonna know that they're in this set because they're gonna be all over, like, Twitter and Reddit and whatever. Like, yo, you can pull this card in, in Palde Evolved. Like, with the Iono, for example. Maybe we can still get the, the, um, normal Iono. That would make my day. But then again, you know me, any full art trainer would make my day. 18 booster packs left. Let's see, there must be something else great in sight here, right? I mean, I'm not disappointed with that... with that Skeledurge. That is still pretty cool. Knackly, just a normal Knackly. Sudowoodoo. Got a Pelipper. Got a Wingle. Ted Blub. And a Tyranitar. Speaking of Tyranitar, I hope you... you show up as our... as our illustration rare buddy. Because that illustration rare looks really cool. That's like one of those. I mean, I think Claybrush, I think I said it in the Snow Hazard opening and like comparing things. I mean, Clay Hazard has just, or Clay Burst, not Clay, Clay Hazard. Clay Burst just has the, the better pulls. It's just a shame that it's so expensive just because of that Iono. But to be fair though, and I mean, putting the Iono aside, it does have the, the better pulls. Like, with the, with the art rares as well. It's just no contest. Oh, a Fortress EX, okay. Here's the code card. Enjoy. Put the Fortress right there. Put the cards here. Okay. Let's see what else we can get here. I think we should still get at least one EX card. And then at least one more... Um, illustration rare, although nothing is promised in English booster pa booster boxes. You know, we might as well also get a a second um, special illustration rare. You never know. You never know. Pelipper. We've got an Oricorio. Nope. Take it. A nothing in this pack. Here you go. Nothing in this pack, but this next pack. 
No, this one, featuring the Quacuavo, this one is gonna have something great inside. I'm, I'm telling you. Also, the illustration for the evolution line of the um, Paldea starters, let me know which one you like most. Because I think, personally, I like the Fue Coco most. That one I think is really cool. I mean, the first one is just him in a shopping cart. And that's really cool. The Quacquavel, or the Quaxley, is probably my least favorite because it's just him literally in front of a mirror. I think that's kind of boring. The Meowskurata is pretty cool, but I think... I think the Fue Coco just takes it. Okay. Let's see, is there anything else I want to talk about? I mean, I have a few videos lined up already. You know, further down the line. Towards the end of the month. Which is gonna be pretty cool, I do hope. Gonna be opening another Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. You know, last time I've opened one of those for... For Christmas. For like, around that time. Yo, boss's orders! Okay. You know what I said earlier. A full art trainer would make my day, and this is a really cool one. We have, of course, Spaghettis. Or his real name, Getsis, but I like to call him Spaghettis. Nice, okay. That's a really cool one. The... The special illustration where of him, where he's like working on a map on his desk, that also looks absolutely insane. Like, that looks really nice. You know what? You deserve a sleeve, my friend. You're cool, so you deserve a sleeve. Nice, okay. Well, let's continue on. We must push forward. Pretty sure we should still get one... Um... Illustration rare. So let's see what it will be. Hopefully something good like the Tyranitar. I don't even know what else is in here. I guess the other, um... Tinker Tink, or like the Evolution Lion. Luxio. Watrol. And a Mimikyu. And here we go. So yeah, like I said, for the Pokemon 151 or 151 um, expansion, I am hoping, man, I am really hoping for a special illustration rare of a Mew card. I mean, Mew is on the cover, literally. Like, there has to be a special illustration rare for, for Mew or special art rare, you know. It's getting kind of confusing with the terminology. It's special art rare in Japanese, but it's special illustration rare in English. Pretty sure I've been mixing some of these up in a lot of videos before. So don't mind me. Oh, here we go. Tinglu. That's the one I've forgotten. That's also a pretty cool SAR you can pull in here. All right, and we're back. Just had to restart my recording. Unfortunately, my camera has a recording limit of 20 minutes. So I do have to be mindful to restart it as to not lose some footage, but you know, it is what it is. This isn't the perfect world. Because if it was, people like you and me wouldn't exist. Potion seller. You know, whoever remember- Yo, Quackwevel EX in gold! Honestly, I didn't believe we'd pull something else from this booster box. Yo, brother! We've got the Quackwevel in gold! Talk about a stack booster box. I mean, if this trend continues with coming expansions, this is this is great. So many pulls from a booster box. Let me just show this off. This is a beautiful. This is beautiful. Quack quavel, you beautiful bastard. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I guess you can go. Hang on. Let me just put you right here, Meowskirada. You can go right next to your to your buddy there. Nice. And we've got the skeleton. Yo, I've just realized this. We've gotten the full trio here of the fully evolved ones. Yo, that is really cool. That is nice. That is really nice. Okay, I'm really happy. Really, really happy now. That's super cute fan. Look at this. Super cute. Krogunk. Rockety. Magnemite. Falconer. Also, I'm working on my, um, I mean, I've been working these past few months. Oh, here we go, Gothrita. That's, I guess, our last special, or our last illustration robot. This looks pretty cool, I haven't seen this before. This must also have been from, from Clayburst or Triple Beat, I don't know. But yeah, I've been working on my, 
on my alternate art collection. You know, as you've seen in some of the other videos, I've purchased some alternate arts. Not any of the heavy hitters yet, although I'll tell you right now, there is a card in this upcoming mail day. Uh, that's kind of a heavy hitter. It's not the Moon Brion. Not yet, at least, but it's still kind of a heavy hitter when it comes to, to alternate arts. So, maybe that got you excited, so stay tuned, subscribe. Maybe even ring the bell, I don't know. What do these, what do the other cringe YouTubers say? Ring my bell? That's probably not what they say. Just stay tuned for the upcoming video. Failings. Combi. Jigglypuff. Gotta give a Farik. Is that Leo? No, that's not Leon. I thought for a second that was Leon, but that just looks like a tree. Oh. Taurus. Mankey. And a Frigibex. Here is the code card. Enjoy, enjoy, good luck. I guess now you can only use these in Pokemon Life. I think that's oh, that was also mentioned on the booster box, Pokemon Life. Pokemon Online, what what was the other one called? Pokemon TCG Online? I don't even remember. That one was officially, you know, shut off yesterday, I do believe. So there is now only only Pokemon TCG Life, and I've heard some pretty bad reviews over that. Dendra. Palosand. The Raichu. You know, the Frigibax. Mousehold. And a Hydreigon. You know, Hydreigon. Goku from, from our Pokemon White randomizer Nuzlocke. Goku is coming back. A handful of booster packs left here. Honestly, I have to be real with you for a second. I'm not expecting to pull anything else here, but, well, I'm happy to be surprised. I mean, we've pulled a golden card, even though I wasn't expecting anything else. Maybe my expectations come from, from like, Sword and Shield era booster boxes. Because whenever you pulled, like, a good card there, there's a high chance you wouldn't pull anything else. But with these Scarlet and Violet booster boxes, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Like, there are... There seem to be stacked with pulls almost, if you will. I mean, I don't think I would have pulled like all of these from a from a Sword and Shield era booster box, right? You would mostly get like one or two. But here we got like four great pulls. Maybe that's out of the norm. Hmm. Might be interesting to dive into. Let me just do this right here. The energy and the code card. Do it like this. That was kind of awkward. We mustn't do that again. It's better to just do it like this, I suppose. Got the tail. Let's go a bit quicker here since we've seen most of the Oh, Giacomo. Skip Loom, Taurus, and a Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb, Spirit Tomb. How much do we have left? Four boosters left. Okay. Let's see if we can make these, these last four boosters count. Let's see if we can make these count. Come on. There has to be, like, we have to get at least one more EX card, right? Come on. We can do it. I, I, I really believe. I really believe. Nope, that's just a Bexcalibur. But here's the code card, so we enjoy that one, I suppose. Come on. Open this bad boy up right here and there we go oh yeah one thing i want to talk about it just come to my mind there was recently i think it was might have actually been yesterday there was a submission on the um pokemon tcg subreddit of someone sent in a moonbryon to like psa and it got a psa 8 and they cracked the case open and sent it into bgs oh here we go nice there we go that's what i'm talking about a Skeletorch EX. We did get another EX card. And, they, you know, they cracked it out of the case. A PSA 8, mind you. Sent it into Beckett. And it ended up getting a Beckett, like, black label. Perfect tense. Like, how does that even happen? I mean, I've heard multiple stories about something similar like that. Where, like, grading companies mess up. It happens all the time, you know. There's a human aspect to it. To, to a certain degree. 
But how can you mess up that badly, like honestly? How could you mess up that badly and give it an 8 when it realistically would be a 10? That's like so surprising to me. Dino and Oricurio. Okay, one last booster pack here, and then we're all done. Let's see if we can pull anything from from this last booster pack right here. It's a good thing I really like that they that they changed like the layout of the booster packs, so you don't have to do the card trick anymore. So there's like suspense to the very last minute. Let me just show you the code card if it would focus. There we go. Pull over the energy it was a psychic energy. And then let's see. Alright. The last booster packs of Padaya Evolt. Here we go. Slowpoke. Let Leo. We've got a Rock Ruff. We've got a Azumaro. We've got a Vespaquin. We've got a Ice Q. We've got a Glimlet. We've got a Sprigatito. And we've got a Wigglytuff to finish it off. Okay. Nothing in the last pack, but you know. I cannot be upset. Look at the pulls we've gotten in this video. Holy moly. That was absolutely insane. But well, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Stay tuned for the mail day next week. It's gonna be awesome. Thanks for watching. Peace, peace.